I got this indent by slamming a can of soup into my face. What happened? I wanted soup. <laughs> It was very late at night. What's up, you beautiful people? You may have recognized this gentleman sitting to my right on a YouTube channel before. If you have it, where have you been? The way that you were talking about it, I thought I was gonna get adopted. He was the most awarded streamies digital talent. <laughs> That's how, that, that's how serious it is. You don't even know how to say it because it sounds like a made up thing. We're about to play medical confessions. This is a game where we're gonna have a truthful medical confession and one that's a false medical confession. False one. A lie. I'm a little delirious from lack of sleep. Wait, are you lost? Am I lost? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mind. We're gonna have 60 seconds to question each other when we read one of them. If he's able to trick me, I'm gonna donate money to his charity. If he can guess which one I'm being truthful about or lying about, I'll donate money to the charity. What charity are we doing? Uh, let's do a PKD cure, polycystic kidney oh, disease. Oh, polycystic kidney disease, we got it. Boom. Does it mean something to you? Like, is there a personal it. connection? Oh, Yeah, okay. I have it, my dad has it. We're gonna have to get the kids screen just because uh, luckily my wife didn't have it, so <laughs> it's a coin okay. toss. Yeah, I mean, there have been uh, advancements, but it's, yeah, it's the only one other than like St. Jude that I've ever been involved with. Okay. I once had to do chest compressions on the subway. Okay. In New York? In New York. How long ago? When I was 19. So you were, how far along in medical school were you? I wasn't in medical school yet. Oh. I was in my seven year career in, program, but not in med school In pre-med, okay. Um, man or woman? Man. Old, young? Middle-aged. Was it a, just a heart attack? I don't know what happened to him, actually. Heart stopped, chest compressions, call for help. They came, shook my hand. I wasn't popular on YouTube yet, otherwise I would have a really good video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I feel like that's all I need to know about it. Wow, okay. He doesn't even need 60 seconds. That's impressive. Let's see. I don't I don't pride myself on being a good judge of character. <laughs> okay. I thought that for a little bit. No. I currently have a horrible skin issue on my left foot. What it what is it? Is it like a rash or it's some kind of rash, dry skin thing, but how, it's really bad. How long have you had it? Uh, probably like a year. Probably a year. Yeah. A year? A year. Was there like a thing, like did you do something and then you got it? Like, I don't. Right did you travel and? I did travel, but. Where to? I mean, I've been all over the place over this last year. So this is the lie. I didn't go to lie. China. So this is the lie. Well, you still have a few seconds. I mean, this is the lie though. Questions. <laughs> is that not the lie? You have, to, Dan, how much time is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I messed up the game. I just, I just, that seems like a big liar face. Are you going with that's the lie? Yeah. That's not the lie. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, I love it. I have a horrible skin thing, which no one knows what it is. Even the dermatologist was like, try this, try this, and like it's not really going away. You use your expertise against me. Damn it, okay. All right, well now it's your turn. I feel like I'm learning your facial tic, okay. I developed an allergy to shrimp slash shellfish, uh, and it was my favorite food, specifically shrimp. Ooh, when did you realize that? Three years ago. Did you have a horrible allergic reaction? It was initially like, medium as far as like just like medium? throat well as far as throat <laughs> get a medium throat in a medium well i don't know what's bad okay. i just know that i was just not happy about my throat being itchy and like hard to breathe what did you have to do when that happened just uh, my dad luckily had an epi pen you had to give yourself an epi pen my dad did wow and then know. what happened and then we went to the hospital just to figure out what the hell happened. And they said that you have a shrimp shellfish allergy. Well, not there. They said that we had to like go back to the doctor. Oh, okay. And are you allergic to anything else? No. No, we thought I was allergic to, uh, what is it, penicillin for a while, but I had to go through uh, allergy tests. Mm -hmm. And do you carry an EpiPen on you now? I'm supposed to. Mm, so you're not following medical advice. No, I don't wear my helmet when I ride my, uh, my <laughs> scooter oh, either. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. You might be good at this game. He was leading me on. I lost 70 pounds on the Atkins diet in three months. Oh, I know you've told me you lost weight, but I don't know what diet you're following. Okay, um, three months, 70 pounds sounds a lot. That's a lot, that is, that's a lot. And why did you choose Atkins? It was the one that was available. I was told that I could eat, um, just any meat. <laughs> what is the Atkins diet? Uh, well, so the you way followed that, it so well. So, uh, no carbs. <laughs> so or wait, no, I mean, wait. <laughs> no carbs. No carbs, no carbs at all? At all. So did you eat fruits? No. 
No fruits. What about brown rice? No. Wow, so no carbs. You it just would, went high protein. It would be like tuna with mustard. Ugh. And, you know, other stuff that has I no carbs. I feel like he's combining real dietary things that he's done with a fake story to do. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh. Am I good on time? Okay. I think you're lying about, God, they're both so good. And your EpiPen thing was so accurate that you know you're supposed to have one, but you're not. I'm gonna say the Atkins one is just too fast for me. It's a lie. The Atkins one's a lie? No, that one's real. What? Yeah. 70 pounds in I three was, months? I was, I was trying to stutter and really like <laughs> act like I didn't know what I was talking about because I felt like I just bombed the first one. No, you got the first one good. Yeah, Atkins, literally, I just ate tuna fish. Uh, <laughs> with mustard. <laughs> with mustard, sugar-free monster energy drink. And I would, and I was running every day. It was so unhealthy. 70 pounds. That's so too unhealthy. Fast. The moment I got sad and I was like, pasta, <laughs> it all came back. He got a hundred bucks for the PKD foundation. Boom. Crushing it. Playing soccer, I dislocated my shoulder and scored the winning goal on the same play. Playing soccer. How old were you? 16, high school soccer. Is that like JV or varsity? No, I was a varsity. <laughs> don't, don't feel, wow. Um, why'd, you, uh, why'd you stop playing? Soccer? Um, I don't know, and when I did that seven year program, no time, they don't allow you to do sports anymore, so. Okay, were you really good? Like, could you have gotten in somewhere on a scholarship? Uh, like division four. Okay. I know that's not a thing, but that's why. I'm not that good. <laughs> uh, so what would you do after you scored the goal? Uh, I started running around, but then I realized my shoulder was really messed up. So and how I had to they, go how to the they, sideline. Okay, how do they fix it? So they basically straighten out your arm and then push it in like that, and you're gonna hear Pow! And it was horrible. I was screaming. Screaming, okay. Screaming. <laughs> but I was also really happy because I scored the goal. Did we, so did, it, did that happen when you just like ran into someone? No, 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 so this guy tackles me, I land on an outstretched arm, dislocate the shoulder, and okay. then I get up, score. Okay. Okay. I once had horrible gluten sensitivity, so bad that I couldn't eat anything with gluten for a year. You say that again? I once had gluten sensitivity so bad that I couldn't eat gluten for a year. You can just develop a sensitivity, like a temporary sensitivity? I guess that's what my body wanted. Don't, I can't, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you that I can't read you at all. <laughs> Do you have, okay, this is maybe too personal. No, please. Do you have Did Botox? I have Did I have what? Do you have Botox? No. That would be nice though. I can't read your face. <laughs> it's throwing me off, man. There's no personal questions, ask anything. <laughs> You're trying to get me to see if I'm lying. Gluten allergy. Uh, sensitivity. <laughs> gluten sensitivity. What happens if you eat gluten? Diarrhea, bloating, uncomfortable. For Not how, anymore, for how now long? I'm good, for a year. No, I mean, how long would you get hit with it? Oh, instantly, especially if I had like beer. And how long would it last? Um, it would go away the next day. Unless I ate more. <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh, I got no. This is for your charity. I man. know. I'm letting people down in the moment. How is it a 50 50 chance and I just feel like it's definitely 100% wrong? <laughs> <laughs> That's me as a person <laughs> in a quote. A... I want to say the gluten thing's wrong, but <laughs> I feel like you're the kind of guy that doesn't, doesn't normally get to brag on himself. And so for some reason, you want to brag via soccer. I, I'm a solid soccer player. The, the smile doesn't tell me. The smile just looks like you just found out you got free candy. I don't know how to read your face. Uh, I feel like I'm getting away with something. Yeah, right? Why am okay. I so happy for you to not give money to charity? Yeah, that's you. You're a bad person. Uh, I'm going to go with the, the soccer thing is the real thing. No! no. no I'm so good at this. Ah. This is why I have fact checkers. <laughs> Because I'm a horrible <laughs> judge of character. So there's a thing called non-celiac gluten sensitivity or wheat sensitivity. Yeah. And I apparently had that. Ugh. I hate you, Mike. <laughs> I have flat feet and I get pain in my right foot. Just your right foot? Just my right foot. And what do you do to solve that? Just don't <laughs> walk that much. <laughs> Keep a small studio. Yes, exactly. Um, have you seen a doctor for it? No. Who diagnosed you with the flat feet? Me. How do you know, what if it's something else? 
I don't know why else it would hurt. What if you don't have flat feet, but you think you have flat feet, and I say that's a lie? <laughs> <laughs> then you have to prove it. I'll take it off. Um, where's the pain in your foot? In, your uh, in the, kind of, where the curve should be. Okay. And um, if you were to go running, does it get worse? It's like 50-50, uh, like if it's, it depends on like the length of the run. Medium. <laughs> and, Medium. <laughs> and then, is it worse when you wake up in the morning or when you go to sleep at night? No, when I wake up. Okay. I never really switch. thought about it. Do you ice it? No. Okay. The problem is, is it's like, you're like wondering, is he lying or is he is just... He's just getting medical facts wrong. <laughs> All possible. I actually have six toes on my left foot. What's with the feet? Just Do the you have a foot fetish? Is that no. too 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 much to ask on camera? No, it's not too much to ask. I don't though. Oh, okay. I know some people that do. It's okay. Whatever it gets just, you there. It's just a it's a body part. Um, okay, six toes. <laughs> when did you find that out? When I was a child. <laughs> what <laughs> kind of question is that? And why is it only on your left foot? <laughs> Wait, does it? <laughs> Is there a version These that are not just, doctor is this a version okay? that like it hap it just mutates? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen a doctor for it? Yes. And what do they say? <laughs> you have six toes. But should they don't... take it off? No. It's so not causing any issue. No. Which is the extra toe? Pinky. So you have two pinkies. Well, I have a pinky and then uh... an appendage. <laughs> Does it have a nail? Yes. What do you do when you wear those shoes that are made for the five toes? It doesn't actually bother me. You can sl still slide it in? You wear yeah, those but shoes? but I also, I order wide shoes. Mm. I order wide shoes for my six toe. <laughs> I feel like that's something people would know about you. Why do I feel like the six toes thing is real? You have cysts and you have an extra toe. Maybe that like makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> that's my new Twitter bio. I'm gonna say the, that you get paid in your right foot is a lie. No, I have flat feet. And I have pain in my right foot. What? Yeah. Now you made me question if I, I'm like, I'm every like, I remember my dad telling me the doctor said I had flat feet as a kid. Oh, okay. So he has five toes <laughs> on each. Uh, why do you say it so aggressively? <laughs> well, you got 200 bucks so far. So we're just, we're just both horrible judges of character. The problem is I have, I think so highly of you. I'm like, he's throwing it. <laughs> 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 he's throwing it so he, this, so the, the charity gets some money. I once had a doctor who's a family friend accuse me of using steroids during an exam. Like, okay, so that when you were working out. Yeah, when I was more muscular than I am now. So an accusation, <laughs> okay. But uh, by a doctor. When, when, when did this happen? Probably when I was like 21. 21? Yeah. Were you like way bigger than you are now? Way bigger. Right now I'm like 195, I was 218. Oh wow. Did you, were you bodybuilding at the time? Yeah, I mean like casually. <laughs> Were you actually using steroids? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I go on, I go on mainstream TV, even no, if I did. He said he was, he was, he told me I used steroids, and he told my dad. Oh wow! And did he? What was his reasoning? Other than because I tore my rotator cuff. Yeah. And he saw stretch marks on my pecs, and I was like, Yeah, it's because I lift weights. Hmm. Okay. Just pecs. Uh, how do you know that it's doctor? Oh. Uh, he's my dad's friend. Dad's friend. What kind of doctor is he? Pain management. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. I'm half listening and half going, no, you're going to get it wrong. You're going to get it wrong. I once had to perform basic life support on a dog that turned out to be choking. What kind of dog? Shih Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Male or female? Female. Would you remember that? Would you remember that well, specifically? Because of who the dog is. It was a famous dog? No, it was a family <laughs> friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> I Did hate, you see that Geico commercial? I hate that that was... I once got stopped on... I, I, uh, never mind, I'll tell you later. Um, Shih Tzu, dog, chest compressions. I didn't do chest compressions. What's the... BLS, what? basic life support. So did you have to blow in its mouth? I started to. Okay. Unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. Because it was choking. Okay. How'd you realize it was choking? Because we got the thing out. Well, I mean, when you were blowing in, did you realize that air wasn't going? Yeah. In? Well, not that I wasn't going in. It just went and it oh. popped out there. Into your mouth? No. Ew. <laughs> it was already gross as it is. Yeah. 
you. Okay, I think I might have finally learned your face. Okay. I think because I'm not getting it based off of any facts. <laughs> I hate this so much. The first thing, the steroids is the real thing. Yeah, it is. Yes! <laughs> he got yes! one, he got one. I think I only realized at the end, when you're lying, you're staring way more intently. Oh my God. I, think I gotta stop doing that. I can't believe you have 300 bucks already so far. Just doing it. Balling. Because I'm so great. I got the chicken pox, but I got it when I was 14 years old, and the kids at school <laughs> called me Phil Pox. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's a lot of detail. Who was the kid at school that called you that? All the kids. Who started I don't, it? I don't remember who started it. You don't remember who started it. And I just have a lot of hate in my heart <laughs> when it comes to school. Did you miss school because of Phil Pox? Yes. How much school? I believe it was two weeks. That's a lot of weeks. How itchy <laughs> two was it? Weeks. One to ten. Say what? How itchy was it? Incredibly itchy. How painful was it? I don't remember it being super painful. It was mainly the itchy. What about it, for the soul? For the soul? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone's happy being in bed, like trying to scratch and then going like, oh, I'm not supposed to. Did you, when you got chicken pox, did you do the X? Yeah. yeah, I do that on mosquito bites. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Is it supposed to be helpful or it's just for you? I don't know, just right. people do that. Um, and then last question would be, did you go see the doctor? No. Sorry, you, it's, sorry, you, it's just, you were just, sorry, chicken pox is just chicken pox. You were just good, you were like, no, I mean, how did you I, know it was chicken pox? Because I don't think that it could be anything Measles? else. Measles? Measles? <laughs> I got this indent right here on my eyebrow. Uh, by slamming a can of soup into my face. You did it purposefully? Or no. by accident? Accident. What happened? I wanted soup. <laughs> <laughs> it was very late at night. Uh, I may have been uh, inebriated. <laughs> and I, I think wanted to look at the soup. <laughs> uh, but I busted my face pretty hard. Like, you went like this? No, no, like I'm well, looking at the can of soup and then I go like that, and then the circle hits me here. So it didn't fall, it wasn't gravity related. Or was it left hand? I think it was left hand. Gravity no, related. no, no, it was impacted. Blood? Yes. A lot of blood? Yes. Wow, were you married at the time? No. If you would have said yes, I knew you were lying. Oh. She wouldn't let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what soup was it? Hashtag <laughs> Yeah, it brought to you by is probably Campbell's, right? <laughs> oh my God. It doesn't look soupy. <laughs> You're struggling, I'm not gonna You're talk You're lying about, about the, f the soup. No. You got it to me every yeah. time. No, I busted my face very drunk. On the soup? Well, I was, I was when I was like trying to figure out the hand. No, it was, yeah, there was like three people left after like just a crazy party at my house. Uh, I wanted soup. Busted myself. Do I have to bloody. do a PSA right now for people not to eat soup when they're <laughs> inebriated? No, I think it's a very unique accident. You raised four hundred dollars for the PKD Foundation. We did it. Well done. To finish off, I need you to do something special on camera. Okay. <laughs> I'm like nervous. You have to say pee whoop and do the pee whoop. Okay, wait. What's what's the hand movement you do with it? Is it pee whoop? Oh. Pee whoop. Yeah. Pee. <clears throat> I don't even know if I can we'll hit do that. It. Dan, you count us down on three. Pee whoop. <laughs> I died. All right, I guys, died I'm inside. linking our podcast that we did on his channel down below. Check out his channel. It's linked down below, all that good stuff. And as always, stay happy and healthy.